You know, in modern times today, we see this very often happen. We're going to talk today about Romans 129. And we're going to be talking about the King James Version here that's been highlighted. It says, being filled with an unrighteous fornication, wickedness, covetous, malicious, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, and whispers. This basically means, um, like I said, I see this all the time. People are debating with evolution. They are trying to debate if the Bible is real. They want you to do all the work. They want you to prove that God is real. They want you to take all the steps so they don't have to do anything but sit there and scoff at you the whole time and give you a hard deal. So meanwhile, you want to save them as a Christian thinking they need to know the truth, but they really don't want to learn the truth. They are filled with evilness and wickedness, and this is when you're supposed to know when to walk away. So I find this chapter, Romans 29, 29 very fascinating because it's talking about people in 2015, and people in 2015 say the Bible's not real, yet it speaks about them in full detail here. Just the simple terminology here used that's called debate. Well, how many times have you seen a, uh, an atheist try to debate a Christian? That's all they ever do. They don't know that their God is not real. They believe in atheism, which is a, this is a religion for them, but they have no God in their religion. So they constantly debate our God and see it bounce it off of their ideas. They're always debating. They can't just stick to their purpose, to the principles that um, there is no God. When they come to a Christian, they start asking questions about the Old Testament. That's always what they do. They always grab the Old Testament, like the New Testament doesn't even exist. And then they sit there and try to debate you and debate you and debate you. And they're trying to make you convert to atheism. But meanwhile, they're not learning a damn thing about Christianity. It goes in one ear and out the other. So even though that you put your butt on the table and say, Okay, prove to me that your atheism is right, and I'll prove to you that my Christianity is right. You're fighting to prove, and they don't give a shit because they don't care. This is the typical atheist nowadays. And they scoff at the, at, at the Lord. They scoff at Christ. They try to make fun of him. They try to mock him. They're always out to try to prove the Bible wrong. Never have been able to. Never can. Never shall. Never will. Because the Bible is accurate over everything else. But it's just so funny that Romans one twenty nine speaks about these people in full detail. <laughs> so anybody that ever has an issue when an atheist comes up to you and you're as a Christian, you're like, uh, and they say to you, prove to me God is real. Just refer them to Romans one twenty nine. That should be enough for them. Because they already know inside he's real. They just don't want to accept it. They don't want to give over to it. They don't want to surrender. They want to be in control. They want to be in power. They want to be able to make all the decisions they want to. People don't even know what free will means anymore. You have the free will to stay inside of the... Uh, you know, you, you have the free will to go into God's realm or into the devil's realm and live there. But don't think you're going to live in both realms. Don't think you're going to have the perks of this one and cherry pick the other one. You're not going to. You have the full set of hellish life if you pick the hellish life. And you have the full set of goodness if you pick the goodness life. There is no uh, cherry pick from the goodness, cherry pick from the evil, cherry pick from the goodness. No, 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 no. God said that very clearly too. You cannot have two masters. No cherry picking, basically. <laughs> well, guys, I'm out of here again. Just thought I'd make this video really quick to put it out there. Read the highlighted words that I've written, uh, that I've highlighted here, the unrighteousness, fornication, and debate, and you'll come to the conclusion that it's almost 99% of all humanity today. With that said, take care, see you all later, and have a great day.